The NFP, which split from the Inkata Freedom Party, surprised many when it performed beyond expectations, participating in its first local government election in 2011. The party became a kingmaker in 19 hung municipalities in KwaZulu-Natal. In 2015, the founder and president Zanele Kamagwazam Sibi suffered a debilitating stroke which led to an internal leadership battle lasting years. The NFP was disqualified from contesting the 2016 local government elections after it failed to pay its deposit to the Independent Electoral Commission. Earlier this year, the IEC gave the NFP until March 2024 to get its house in order. Barnes says the main aim is to bring stability into the party, working as a collective, and that individuals will not be placed above the party. We feel humbled and we are honoured uh, in the memory of our late president. Justice and political democracy has been served in the NFP. We have given rebirth to this organisation. Right now, our main focus, as I said to you earlier on, we're going to look at stabilising the organisation. We're going to create legitimate party structures at the national level. We still need to appoint certain members to the national executive, further finalise the National Working Committee, which is the highest decision-making body of the organisation between conferences. There afterwards, we have to start engaging with our fellow comrades who are in distress, who are not here, of reasons that everybody knows. Because if we want this organisation to grow, we need all of them, despite of where they are, despite of their actions, despite of their words. And right now, we are leaders and we need to build this organization. Milton Sokela was elected deputy president, while Teddy Twala was elected secretary general. However, leaders of an opposing faction, which include Kanan Mtleche, who maintained that he's still the party secretary general, do not recognize the conference. The faction has an appeal pending against a Peter Maritzburg High Court order, which set aside a 2019 elective conference. For SABC News, I'm Jay Paulser in Durban.